Hi, this is Ben Voss with another quick vid for a friend who doesn't like gradients. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to open the node editor by right shift clicking on my surface that I want to use, and I'm going to add a gradient. Okay, so I'm going to put that straight in the color, and our screen goes black. Okay, so I come in here. By default, gradients only have five uh, inputs in nodes. X, Y, and Z, slope and incidence. I'm going to use the Y coordinate in this one, and I'm going to add a new key here just by left clicking. And here I'm going to change my color to white, uh, as I've shown you before with the with the right mouse button. And here I just want stepped, so that all I get is black and then white all of a sudden. And as you can see, by changing it. To black I have black creeping up the wall here yeah. but that's not very interesting let's change this value to five meters let's say just give us enough a big enough area and rather than using the y coordinate which I'm doing now I want to actually use the position of this uh, beam the blocker uh, to dictate how black the wall is okay so to do that, I need an item info node, and I'm just going to search for it here because that's the easiest way. Item info, bingo, and I'll double click on it to assign my item. And here I want blocker. And then what I want to do is use this input value, but nodes, uh, gradients can only have a scalar input value that's the green inputs and item info just outputs vectors which are the blue input outputs so or inputs so what i'm going to do is search for a length node now which is in math vector and i'm going to take world position of my blocker and Put it into length and all this does is it outputs this as a scalar showing how far away that blocker is away from the the wall here okay so the result is just a scalar so that's perfect for my needs so here i've got a completely white wall but if i increase this black level here i will come to a point where my wall should go black. Ah, oh, there we go, a black wall. But now, if I move my blocker further away, my wall becomes white again. It's all dictated by the distance that the blocker is away from the wall. And I'm not sure where it is now. Where's my blocker? And let's just have a look out here. Where's my blocker? Oh, he's there. Okay. Um, and off to the side. Fantastic. So there he is. And my wall is now black. By the way, I hit tab there just to hide windows that are open to give me a better view of the screen and tab again to bring them back okay so now I can adjust my distance here so that I can have a white wall with the blocker that close or a black wall and the blocker just needs to move further away bingo okay that's it don't be scared of gradients. Bye.